Well, this is a little update on the bee. As you can see, he's busy, and that slug has said, <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Welcome back, my gardening friends. Oh, what a beautiful day it is. Uh, these are all my seed uh, potatoes. They've been in the fridge uh, all winter. A lot of these are my save seed. I've got some Picasso that uh, Alan from the Dawn Chorus sent me. Some pink fir apple that uh, is either Rob or Steve sent me. I'll, make, I'll just check on that. Some King Edward that I found. Kestrel from another plot holder. My own Marf Marfonia that we've saved. Some white and purple varieties that we've uh, got the safe seed that we found on um, the uh, plot one when we first renovated all those uh, years ago. Uh, you can see all that in hashtag starting a new allotment in my playlist. And then there's four down there you might not be able to see because of the sunshine. It's sort of like a red potato. I'm not sure what they are either. So those are going in containers because there's only a, a four seeds and then uh, the rest are going in this bed. This is going to be a permanent bed, not everyone will agree with that, but uh, these are the sarpos that we got out in a, a previous video, I've already got the spots, chips on them, and I've got my big dibber, and I'm making the hole nice and wide at the top, I'm opening it up at the bottom to drop it down uh, to a decent depth, and we can mulch up with some of the spent compost uh, if need be but I don't think the potatoes will come up that high but if they do we can heap it up with that and then we can take out what potatoes that we want by hand and we can leave uh, a few in and they can uh, grow on next year so we shouldn't have to plant any so the theory goes we can do that while this bed's a uh, temporary bed he says temporary it could end up being permanent um, I've just lost my wheelbarrow space there and as you can see further up 900 gap we're down to about 500 here so access to the wheelbarrow minimal but this will do now for a year or two let's get planting so i've just marked the dibber off somewhere there and uh, we've gone down opened the hole up and then just help opened it up at the bottom and hopefully of course chit up boom down and we're in so depending on how many potatoes I've got, I'm sort of trying to. Uh, the Putting the compost on the top was a good idea at the time, but all that wind we had, it's actually blew most of it around the allotment. But as you know, the wood chips and everything else get reused. And uh, we can just... Uh, Back those, backfill those nice and gently. So, I'll get on with this. It's quite a bit to do. I'll bring you back when we're finished. <laughs> 